there we have El Salvador, Peru, Argentina, Colombia, Bulgaria, Canada, Cyprus, Panama, Honduras, Costa Rica, Chile, Paraguay, Uruguay, Guatemala. Now, Guatemala is dear to my heart because I went there even before the president came here to move the embassy. And the prime minister, my old friend since 1980, said to me, you're already giving him the Friends of Zion Award. He hasn't done it yet. I said, oh, but he will. I know he'll do it. These are not political decisions. These are moral decisions. The Pope said to Shimon Perez and I, all the chaos in the world comes from immoral leadership. We need morality and leadership where we have the courage to do what your president did. Why he was threatened, he was told, Mario, you'll be boycotted. You can't possibly do this. It'll damage your economy. He wouldn't cave into that. Ambassador, we are honored to be your friend. Congratulations on your marvelous appointment. I have a special gift to honor you if you could come up. It says, for Zion's sake, I will not be silent. Jerusalem is saint to the Jewish people, but Jerusalem is also saint to the people of Guatemala. Everyone knows the history and the Jewish connection to our capital city for 3,000 years. You're a bold man that you're representing your country's policy just to say the truth and just to recognize this historic connection. I'm sure that uh, many countries will follow, but we will always remember the pioneers. One of the first words that I learned when I was here in Israel in Hebrew is Ineni, here I am. And that word I learned throughout the vision of my dear friend Rami Levy. So today we invite you to this place because we want to invite you that you can live the virtual experience across the history of the legacy of the Friends of Zion Museum. We're celebrating this amazing opportunity to serve Guatemala and to serve Israel. Thank you so much. <laughs>